So before we can attack the takeaway, you must be able to do the following drill perfectly, okay? So this drill is, has been proven since the 1920s as the very best drill to improve basically and virtually all of, your, all of the aspects of your golf swing in a very, very positive manner. So it's the feet together drill. You're basically gonna put both feet together fuse both arches together like they're forming one suction cup and you're applying suction to the ground using the butt and the knees so you get into that nice posture of yours with your feet together and then what you're going to do is you're going to start swinging the club back and through so as you swing the club back and through your brain identifies this posture and this platform as very limited so when you have you know, 30 to 40 pounds of arms going into the backswing, you better have 30 to 40 pounds of something else going in the opposite direction to counterbalance you. And that's your posterior, okay? Your counterweight is your butt. So as the arms extend this way, the, the butt goes in the equal and opposite direction, and you'll feel very much how the arms and the body are moving together. As Soon as the arms go in one direction, the butt has to go immediately in the other direction. So right here, this is gonna be the takeaway. This is how the, 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 the swing starts. If you go with just the arms and you keep going with just the arms with your feet together, you'll fall over because now you got too much weight going in this, in this direction. Everything goes in unison. Now from there, you'll feel how your arms have to go more upwards. And the turning of the body allows you to keep your arms in front of you instead of wrapping themselves behind you. So you'll feel more width in the arms. You'll feel more levitation of the arms. The arms will levitate more upwards instead of coming behind you, okay? So from here, everything swivels up. If you can swing the club back and through. Now you're truly in balance. And you don't want to feel any crashing of your arms against your body. None of that stuff. So for the arms to flow freely without any uh, uh, obstructions, the body's got to get out of the way. Okay, so you feel how the body turns and returns out of the way. As the arms fall, the arms are falling into the downswing, the posterior returns out of the way, and this returning action of your butt is basically catapulting the arms towards your target. Okay, so turn to clear in the backswing, allowing the arms to extend and levitate up, and then let the arms fall, swinging out toward the target because the butt's getting out of the way. You don't want the arms to fall against your body, okay? So it's swivel up, swat through. And you'll notice when you go out and hit some golf balls, this feet together drill is pretty darn good. You're gonna see that you're, you're gonna be hitting the shots at least to 90% of your normal distance. And you should feel very, very effortless when you're doing this. When you master this feet together drill, you can really swing uh, with a lot of power through the ball with a lot less effort than what you're used to. So when you go feet apart, the added little thing that we put to this is your tilt because now you've got enough width in your stance to put a tilt in there. When your feet are together, don't worry about the tilt. You'll find that your body will create the proper tilt in and during the motion. Whereas when your feet are apart, now you've got support for the upper spine and you've got support for the lower spine, okay? So from here, now when I'm swinging back and through, the added element is the rolling of the feet. So you'll feel how the left foot rolls in on the backswing and you'll feel how the right foot rolls in on the through swing. That right heel will not come off the ground till well past impact, okay? So it's, notice where that right heel's coming off the ground. 
Okay? So it's roll, 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 roll. Left knee rolls in, right knee rolls in. Left foot rolls in, right foot rolls in. Turn, turn. So you notice feet together, how the knees work. Left knee rotates over the right, right knee rotates over the left. Be aware of this, the knees stay together. They do not pry apart, okay? That suction cup that you have, both arches stay firmly solid on the ground, back and through. And you'll feel how the butt turns towards the target and then turns away from the target. Well, feet apart, you'll feel the same thing. As your butt turns, left knee rotates in, left foot rolls in, still have suction. As it plants and on the way through, right knee rolls in, right foot rolls in, still have suction inside that right foot, okay? So if you can do back and through without stopping in both situations, now you're well on your way to your, to your swing. That brings us to your takeaway. So the takeaway of the swing, the first two feet of your swing are the most critical aspects of your swing right there. If you can get going properly in those first two feet, the rest of the swing is gonna fall into place relatively easily, okay? So when I start my backswing, you know, my little slightly pre-turned and pre-tilted position, from here I use the turn of the body. So by the time my hands have passed the knee and are just ready to start hinging, I should be basically fully turned in that lower body. And then momentum takes over to load the shoulders and to hinge my wrists and to position my arms. So I'm tossing, toss it wide, let the arms levitate up. Now everything can fall and as everything falls, my left side clears out of the way and boom, I can really give it a good zip through the golf ball if I want to or if I need to, okay? So it's toss, whip. The position after you finish your takeaway, you should feel that if somebody were to grab your club, imagine we're mountain climbing right now, you're at the top of the mountain, somebody's gonna grab your club, you're gonna pull them up. Well, if they grab the club, can you support them? Can you pull them up? If you slide the slightest bit off of there, they grab that club, you're a goner. So if you turn, now we've got that solid position and you'll notice how my butt is swiveled towards the target and I still have plenty of pressure inside my left ankle as well. There's the initial move in the backswing. If you wait, you go with the arms, imagine somebody pulling on it right now, that's gonna be a little hard to do. From here, you'll feel like you've got amazing leverage and great posture and you'll, you'll feel very stacked. So from there, now we can hinge up and we're in that proper position. From there, we let everything fall. Left side clears as everything is falling. The left side or the left foot rolls flat and then boom, now you're plastering through that golf ball. So there's in a nutshell what you want to be working on. Those three aspects, feet together, really get a sense of that swivel of your butt as your arms are levitating up. Yeah? If you want to feel everything coordinated, one smooth motion. So it's, I, I call it turning it up or swiveling it up. Then get that sensation with your feet apart. Okay, and then practice the takeaway right here. There's your checkpoint. Really feel that you can support that mountain climber and hoist them up without any issues from this position right here. So enjoy that and let me know if you have any issues.